All right, for the first step of understanding Varsheet Installer and how it makes you huge, let's think about normal functions, right? When you actually get big and you have maybe a lot of clients or at least a lot of websites, even if they're on behalf of one client, you have to do things like occasionally have to do updates. You have to update files or maybe you need to add new images to some of the websites or you need to change phone numbers. Uh, what else could you do? Update security. You know how every three months or six months or a year, somebody says, okay, it's time to change your password, right? So let's think about the manual version of that, which is the industry standard versus how we do it. So here we go, security updates, okay? Time to update the website uh, passwords and the security key, let's say, okay? So when we created our websites in the first place, we had a different password for each user, but it followed a simple pattern, okay? That's just what we did. And then we had this sort of like master security key for them all, okay? Now, we can still do that if we want, but hey, it's time to update those values. So I'm just gonna show you how this is normally done manually in the industry and how we do it, okay? So these are gonna be the new user passes and the new security keys, right? How would you normally update this one by one? Say it was your job, somebody said, okay, here are the 96 websites for this stack of clients, it's time to update their passwords and their security keys. Go and do it. And you're like, oh really, okay. So let's take a look. It's done like this. We're gonna take a link, we're gonna visit it. We're gonna go to slash administrator. Now we gotta log in. We're gonna log in with admin and what was the security key for that, or the uh, password for that guy? Oh, that's the password. If I pay, if I copy the right one, I should be able to log in, <laughs> and I can. Now, security key needs to be new. In reality, I can't just decide what I want it to be in here, so I'm just gonna hit generate a new key, and I'm gonna copy it, okay? Copy. I'm gonna come back to the file, and I'm just gonna paste it in there, right? That's gonna be what I would have normally put for new security key, right? Clear. Better make sure I got all the characters starting with the first three and ending with a J, right? I don't wanna mess, mess that up, right? Or later when I can't connect on a Y. Now I gotta change the password. So I go to site admin, new password, what is it? Okay, new user pass. Okay. Change it and change it, update it, I'm done, okay? And I may update it in my RoboForm or whatever. Uh, I should sign out. I hope I don't hit the key again or I gotta copy the new key. But I'm done with this website. I can move on to the next one. Okay, I ask you, how long does it take to do 96 of those? Maybe if you're moving fast, an hour and a half, right? Like one per minute. And you're pushing it and, you're, and what is the chance for error? I could grab the wrong key, couldn't I? I could grab the wrong key or the wrong security uh, user pass or security key because I'm, I'm trying to move quick and I just grab it wrong, right? So it's a pain because I'll, later I got to figure it out, right? What was the mistake? And I have to go change it again. I could lock myself out of the panels. All right, there's that. How do we do this? Okay, I'm just going to show you, okay? Here we go. I'm going to log in a Varsheet installer. I'm going to come down to admin information. Again, the same thing. Hey, it's time to update the uh, passwords. Okay. Import the feed file that does that job. Okay. And that's going to be where? Hmm. I've got it somewhere. Uh, where did I put it? Here. Okay. Reset the keys. And here we go. So this might be the list I made. Like, what would you normally do if you were going to update keys that were already like this? Well, you could do anything. If these guys don't know who each other is, you could just take a couple of these off the top and stick them on the bottom, <laughs> okay? I mean, now for everyone, all these keys are random, right? You could even just take a couple more off the top <laughs> and stick it on the bottom so no one can even possibly follow the pattern because they just don't know, <laughs> right? So whatever it is you wanted to do, if you want to go further, what do you do? Like highlight this whole thing and replace a certain character with another one, match case, right? You might say replace a lowercase h, you know, with an uppercase k, and you'll say just match the case, replace all, and there you have it, right? And so you can go through a bunch of letter combinations like that really, really quick, and you've got your new passwords, right? 
So just make a couple of switches and you're done with security. Now it's time to do our job. Uh, so we're going to do it. Okay, I'm just going to close out. I don't need it anymore. Uh, I'm just going to drag that here. And I just showed you how to do it all. I We should assume it was already done because it would have been already ready. It's the same thing. Hey, it's time to update the passwords. All right, so I'm just going to import this. Now let's keep this in mind. We're doing both of those changes. So we are both... Uh, lo we're logging in, updating the password, and updating that security key, except that with our system, we can choose the key. It can be something alphanumeric, or it could be exactly what we want the key to be, right, with our tool. So we don't have to create a, a random key and then copy it down. We're not just generating the randomness. We're actually uh, creating exactly what we want to create. So we got our network thing going on here. And by the way, what is that? That's 96 websites times two, which is what? Like 192 key updates and we're done actually. We did it in 40 seconds, 39 and a half seconds. So we made, think about it. We made 96 times two equals 192 divided by 40 equals we made 4.8, virtually five updates per second. Five updates, an updated security key, updated admin panel, go to the next website. Updated security key, updated admin password, go to the next panel. <laughs> yeah, updated security key and a password, right? We, we did five of those in a second. Okay, so we're all done now. That was it, that was the purpose of this video, just to show you that everything is like that with these tools, right? And think about the power again. If it took an hour and a half to hire someone else to do it, and they're making probably, I don't know, 45 an hour plus benefits, you know, maybe you're paying 50 bucks an hour for a guy, or even if you're hiring someone else, how long? First, you have to explain it to them. And then you have to pay them for their time. Yeah, this is why you can compete with the big guys at this level because thinking big, we have tools that to operate at that level for you. The comparison's insane, right? Five per five changes per second versus them taking like a minute is 60 times five, 300 times faster than they can do it. We can do 300 times as much work as any one guy or another way to put it, the, uh, uh, if 300 guys worked neck and neck and made zero mistakes, they could reproduce what we just did here just now. All right, everything else is going to be like that. I'm going to walk you through it. It's a blast. Okay.